Hi class, welcome. I am so excited to have you in class. I wanted to take you on a little tour of the classroom in case you are very new. I know a lot of you are very new to the school and to online learning. So I really wanted to give you um, a heads up and a head start, all right? So first things first, this is kind of like your home page. It will say content page, but always say, think that content page is my home page. This is where you kind of come very first into the classroom. All right, so content page is your home page. I want to show you what's on here. Your course syllabus, please read over that. Your course guide, please read over that. Um, a lot of the questions that you have will be answered in these two things. These are your grading rubrics if you want to check them out. This is Office 365. As a student here at the University of Phoenix, you can download um, a Office 365 for free. So please do that right away if you don't have Office. So if you don't have Word, you're going to have to have it for this class. Um, I, I won't be able to accept your assignments if you don't do them in Word. So make sure that you go ahead and do that right now. If you have trouble, contact technical assistance, okay? Um, this is course questions. If you have a question for me, this is the place to put it if every, if you don't mind everybody seeing the question. So if it's something you think everyone might benefit from, use this. Otherwise, I'll show you what to do if you have other questions. And here is your everything we're doing for the whole five weeks. There's week one, two, three, four, and five. Think of these as like little folders, okay? And over here, if you click on this, it opens the folder and it shows you everything due for week one. Now this looks like a lot, but most of it's not that big of a deal. This is meet your faculty and peers. So it's just an introduction, you're saying hello. Um, it's kind of a fun thing to do. This is a feedback survey and you do get five points for it. So it's just really quick and easy peasy. Go ahead and do that as soon as possible. This is your week one discussion. So after reading um, what you need to read for the week, you're gonna come back here and complete your discussion. This is how you get to your book. You'll just simply click. If you're wondering how do I get to my reading, these little backpacks, that takes you right to your reading. So click on that and it's gonna take you to your book. Right now it's not going to, if I click on it, because I have to open them, so I'm not gonna click on it and show you. But just click on it, it'll take you right there. This is just kind of how to start it and chapter one of using the book. This is the week one readings, chapter two, preparing for success. Both of these guys, have quizzes and those quizzes are i believe you get two tries at them so do your very best because the best grade of the two will go into the grade book and i can't change it at that point okay and then exploring the university you can look over that so that is week one let me go back up here and i'm going to collapse this okay i'll talk to you about your discussions more i'm going to collapse that but i want to show you this is week one here's week two it does the exact same thing okay Week two, easy peasy, a lot less to do, right? So you're going to do your discussion and you're going to read and have your little reading quiz here. So, um, and it's 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 a good quiz. I shouldn't call it a little reading quiz. It's a good quiz. Um, it's great information in the book. So make sure you get that done for week two. Here's week three. You get the idea? Now, starting in week three, guys, we have worksheets that you have to complete. Please make sure before week three that you've downloaded Word. That is a requirement. So this will be a worksheet that you'll complete. And you just click on these. I'll give you an example. I'm going to click on this, and it's going to take me to the assignment. It's going to look like this, okay? And you're going to click on View Assessment, and here it is. And you look, look over it and read the um, directions. And then you click on this and it's going to download this worksheet for you. See how it downloaded the worksheet for me right there? And then I would pull up that worksheet after I read, of course, because you can't just make this stuff up. You have to actually read first. And here is the worksheet for you to complete. So, um, and you just type right in here. Okay. And then you would save it to your computer and then upload it um, for your assignment, which you would do right down there. Okay. And we'll go over that a little bit more as well in a minute or later, I'll do that when you on week three, so it makes more sense to you. All right, so it's the same for weeks four and five, okay, it's the same idea. Now notice I can open these folders or I can, and I can collapse them. I like to call them folders, that's, I kind of think of them as, as folders. So that's open, that's collapsed for week five. See, there's week five. Let me collapse week four. So weeks four and five. 
and get the idea. And it doesn't matter if you leave them open or closed or anything like that. You're worrying about week one this week and see somebody's already posted, which is kind of cool. All right, let me come up here. So that's, this is your home page. I generally work from this page more than anything, but you can do other things than work from this page. By the way, if you need to send me a message, you can do it here. Click on that and it'll let you send me an easy peasy message. Guys, don't ever worry. I'm just closing that. Don't ever worry about sending me a message. Don't feel like you're bothering me. Don't feel like you're asking too many questions. Um, if you've read all this stuff first and you still have questions, please reach out to me. That's why I'm here, okay? Um, you can also look at your messages right here. Click on that. I highly recommend you click on this every single day when you log into the classroom. The, the messages won't, they won't have a number by them. It won't highlight or bold this. You have no idea a message is there unless you click on it. So please click on messages every day. I have to remind myself to do that every day. So here's the content page, the home page. You can send me a message here, but check for your messages here. You can also send a message here. Just click on that. And then you just type in whoever you want to send the message to me or anybody in the classroom. Okay. So let me go back to the home page because I just kind of like that idea that that's your home page. This is your calendar. And if you scroll down, especially if you go on the month, you can type things into this, but then it shows you that your work is always due. Um, well, that's kind of wrong. I'm going to fix that for you. Your work's always due Monday at midnight. It puts it over on Tuesday because I am in Eastern Standard Time. So actually mine is due at like, I don't know, 2 a.m. or whatever, Eastern Standard Time. Everything is due midnight um, on Monday night, Phoenix time. If you want to, so I'm going to go back to our homepage because that was our calendar. Here's your discussions. You can get to the discussions easy peasy here if you want. So very simply, you can get to the discussions right here. And that's fine. That's an easy way to do it. This is the grade book. So if you ever want to know what your grades are or, hey, did I do everything for the week, pop over to the grade book. There's a feedback survey. It's worth five points. Look at your week one discussion. 35 points. It's a lot of points, guys. The week one, the first quiz that you take in your book, worth 10 points. Second quiz. 50 points. That's everything that's due for week one. Anything that's being graded is right here. If you don't see it in the grade book, it's not for a grade, okay? Um, so you can do things for practice or for, you know, your experience. Week two, see week two. Same idea, week two discussion, week two reading. That's all that's due in week two. Week three, if we scroll down, week three discussion, week three reading practice, that's the quiz, and the week three assessment. Remember, this is the worksheet. It's worth, well, because I clicked on it now, says so not graded, but it is worth 180 points, all right? That one's worth 180 points. The week four worksheet's worth 180 points. And the week five worksheet, I want you to look at this. Week five worksheet's worth 210 points. Those are very important. But guys, I'll tell you what else is super important. Your discussions. Please don't skip them. Please don't do less than you need to do. I'll make another video explaining that a little bit more to you. But I just wanted to make this for you and always, always, always click on the messages. You can always come back to content. That's your homepage. All right, guys, if you have any questions or any comments for me, do not hesitate to reach out. That's why I'm here and I really love my job um, and I love working with students. And I know it's really scary when you first start. I was an online student when I did my um, master's degree and it terrified me the first few days that I was on there. By week three, this will be easy peasy, this managing uh, or moving around the classroom. All right, guys. Thanks so much. Enjoy your weeks, your five weeks as we spend our time together. Get to know the university and just learn a whole bunch. Thanks. Bye.